hopefully everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. I certainly did. Uh, Diana did an amazing job. You may have seen the uh, photo as we uploaded it to however many social networks I happen to be connected to. It was an amazing, I would say, traditional slash uh, new additional dinner. I know, what's the opposite of traditional? I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys can help us come up with a word. So, you know, we did an article uh, that, about how to explain your job to parents and relatives. And this is something that comes up, uh, you know, during the holiday season. You have to, you know, meet with, you know, your friends and relatives. Well, you don't have to, but most people do. And it comes down to, to me, explaining what I do to friends and relatives. I... Uh, I tell them, look, I'm myself, and somehow I'm able to figure out how to carve a career out of being myself. And that's really difficult for some people to wrap their, their head around. And I think, you know, we're, we're entering a day and age where you, uh, whether you have a job today or not, uh, are going to be able to carve out a similar career around being yourself. Uh, could you imagine if you love technology and talking about it uh, ever finding the day where you could wake up, talk about technology, and get the bills paid. That is a very difficult concept to wrap your head around. Kelly's done a pretty good job at explaining how better to explain uh, how to explain, explaining how to explain how to explain, you know, what it means to have a, a career that doesn't have a box that you could have fit in before. You know, when I graduated with a degree in English education, that, that's what I thought I was going to do. And I'm not doing that at all. I'm still educating to a certain degree, but I'm using the internet. Uh, I gave a presentation a couple of weeks ago uh, to a local Rotary Club, and there were a couple of students in attendance. I guess they were giving away some student awards with Rotary Club. And I, one of them stood up and said, I want to pursue a degree in uh, robotics and political science. And I think that is uh, exactly you know, what today's um, future job force, today's youth, really, I don't know how, how you would explain it. Um, I think that's what students of today have to look forward to tomorrow. And without, you know, these constructs, these traditional constructs that have defined us, you can do anything. You can be anything. And I think it's absolutely possible. If you have, list down, you know, on a sheet of paper, five interests, five things that you want to do, I bet you anything you can make a career out of doing just that. Uh, and to explain that to somebody, you know, sometimes you just point to examples. So uh, I, I think, I don't know how it got translated, but Diana was trying to explain to, I think, her family what it was that I do. And did it come out that I work for Google? <laughs> I do not work for Google, despite loving their products. Uh, but it, sometimes it, you have to explain it in terms that m most people can understand. Uh, and, and bringing relevance to anything that you explain, specifically in relation to your job, I think is going to uh, help you uh, really translate what you do into a career, as well as, uh, you know, evolve how you explain what it is that you do uh, to other people. I, I'm a content creator. It's what I do. Uh, some people call me a geek. Uh, some people call me a space cowboy. Uh, some people call me Maurice. Woo! Do you get that reference?